Live from the Twin Cities, this is the Fox 9 Morning News. All right, 7.05 now with spring comes all those walks, a <laughs> lot of them. And all for a good cause, though. This morning, it's the Twin Cities Heart Walk over at Target Field. It is another big one with tens of thousands of people expected to turn out. And our Todd Walker is live this morning getting his walk on. Good morning, Todd. Good morning. Uh, this, is, this is that event with the BMI test. You're not taking that and you're not getting your blood pressure checked this year, right? You know, Tom, I think I am going to do it again. I really do. I'm, I'm, I'm confident. I'm confident. Let's not roll the tape from last year, but I'm confident no. that my numbers are going to be much, much better. You know? Okay. I'm, I'm hoping. Crossing those fingers. Well, guys, you can come down here this morning, and people can just show up. A lot of people have already raised money and pledged dollars to do this walk today. But the walk starts at 11 o'clock today. There's a one-mile and a three-mile walk. But at 930, the festivities really began, and people can come to the target field, walk through the corridor, and there's a number of different events and activities going on. On. The goal this year is to raise $2 million, and there's about 25,000 people that take part in this event every year. And I have to tell you, after doing this the other years, this is about the best weather that we've ever had. Might be a little warm and a little sticky, but better than some of the rain we've had in the past. I'm here with Kim from the University of Minnesota. Good morning, Kim. Good morning. So now, you were with me last year, and we talked a little bit about the hands-only CPR. And Kim, you're going to be uh, proud of me. I just went through CPR training. What do you think? Congratulations. All That's right. good. So now, the hands-only CPR. Explain to us a little bit the reasoning be behind hands only and what some of the volunteers are doing behind us. Well, most people who take a traditional class like you did learn how to do compressions and breathing. So if somebody suddenly collapsed, they'd know the steps to do. However, we find that many people are anxious about doing breaths on a person they don't know in a situation that's, you know, suddenly happening. So by doing compression only, which is just doing the compression part, they're much more comfortable. They feel much more secure in learning their skills. And it's very quick and easy. We can learn, teach someone how to do CPR in about 10 minutes. They get to practice hands only, so compression only. And those are the really the important things needed to sustain a life when somebody suddenly collapses. So All right, and there's a song that goes along with it to keep you uh, with the beat and with the rhythm, correct? There is. Um, a lot of people like to use that old song, Staying Alive, which is really good because that gives us good motivation. So um, Staying Alive gives us that 100 beats a minute. So the, really what we want people to do is when they find somebody who suddenly collapses, take action start CPR, do compressions, push hard and fast, staying alive gives them that 100 beats a minute so they too can possibly save a life. Okay, so you're going to be doing demonstrations and doing some training down here today? That's right. We're going to be doing training all morning, so just stop on by. And the first 100 people that stop and learn CPR will get a coupon. They can actually go to Think Mutual Bank, and the first 100 families that learn CPR will get a free CPR Anytime kit to take home and train their families. Okay, so that kit has everything you need to know to be able to do your own training at home with your family members? It does. That kit has everything you would need. It has a mannequin. It has a DVD. It even has some stuff to clean up the mannequin so you can share it with other people. So it's right. a wonderful kit. Very great. Great, Kim. All right. This is a great cause, Tom, Karen, Marina. It's a lot of fun every single year. And trust me, the weather is great. It is going to be a great time to come out for the walk. So remember, if you haven't raised any money but you want to come out and join in this activity, just come on down 11 o'clock today. And there's a one, a one mile and a three mile walk. And Tom, I got to find that place that's going to do the BMI. Yeah, I assure you, well, the numbers. Not are me. <laughs> that's still a scam. That whole thing is just—it's just, it's just bad scam? science. The, the BMI. Bad. Science. And you and I know that because didn't so? they tell you that you were overweight last year? Oh, no, not even overweight, Tom. I think they used the other word. The obese, obese? word on yeah. me. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. I was in the obese category, but I I'm confident my case, there's your no honor. more of that word. You got it. All, All right, right, guys. We're going to see you in half Different an hour. for everyone. Back to you. That's the bottom line with the BMI thing. Not even not, science. Not even. Uh, 709 right now. Let's uh, talk about...